This is a disclaimer. What you are about to encounter is purely an opinion. Opinions are generally based on lived experiences and what we're about to encounter is my opinion based off of my lived experiences on whatever topic we're about to encounter, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this immediately and please, let's keep it civil. If you or anyone you know have been affected negatively by Mr. L. Boyd's personal opinion, please call 248-434-5508. Me and him were sheriffs at the same time, him up in Plano and me out here. Plano, Texas? I think he's pretty proud of that. My arrest and my testimony. That's beautiful landscapes. Guys, is this the guy from Men in Black speaking? I always knew you had to be willing to even do this job. Absolutely. But I don't want to push my chips forward. You just have to say, okay. Consistently beautiful shots, guys. I'll be part of this world. We got a jib shot on the, the introduction here, guys. Yes, sir. I just walked in the door. Sheriff, he had some sort of thing on him, like a oxygen tank for emphysema or something. Oh, bro, he's crazy. Guys, this is how you introduce a movie, guys. If you ever wanted to know, right? Um, guys, rule number one, he probably should not have had his back turned to that guy. I'm not trying to say, like, instantly judge someone off their appearance, but that guy looks crazy. All right. Oh, no. What is that? I need you to step out of the car, sir. Would you hold still, please, sir? What the f- Bro, what is happening? <laughs> okay. Um. Bro, you have to account for the wind, bro. Right. Account for the- account for the distance. I would like to just instantly give credit to whoever uh, was responsible for filming this, guys. It's beautiful. You see the common uh, teal and oranges, but they're slightly pastelled. Obvious anamorphic lenses used. Super wide angle, open. It's a beautiful movie, guys. It's beautiful. For the film nerds out there, obviously. It's collared. Injured. Bro, are you hunting without a sidearm, guys? Is he doing that? You got Mac 10s laying on the ground, AK 47 lying on the ground. I think I also saw an Uzi. Oh, yeah, I don't know, bro. You got to answer some questions first. I think we understand what happened now. I ain't no Lobos. I mean, maybe he's confusing like a dog, maybe? You stop to watch your backtrack. Guys, I think this movie is like purposely silent almost. Like to the point where you can hear the ticking of his would look to be automatic watch. <laughs> right. Now what? Mm. Are you a good guy or a bad guy? Honestly, in this very specific instance, I don't even think it matters. Um, that is that is dirty money. I think the moral issue would be, would you, do you turn in the dirty money? I definitely leave the narcotic. I don't care about that. Even though probably it's worth most likely the same exact amount of money that's in that briefcase. But I think when it comes down to it personally, I think that money would just be lost. I'm just going to be honest here. That may make me a terrible person, but I'm the good guy in this situation. I'm making sure that money doesn't get into the hands of whatever uh, narcotic dealer, right? Uh, yeah. You know, obviously, I'd, I'd, honestly, I'd probably give a lot of it away. Just to be honest, I'd give a lot of it away. I don't need that type of money, but I would give a lot of it away to people who actually need it, right? 
not not like charities or anything like that. I, I specifically hand deliver personally. I'm not saying a charity shouldn't take a percentage, but I'd ra I'd make sure that the that a person is uh, being directly benefited. What's in the satchel? It's a bowl of money. That'll be the day. <laughs> Where'd you get the pistol? I found it. He hasn't lied once. Willing. What? I don't want to know. I don't even want to know where you've been all day. Yes, you do. Work. What are you doing, baby? I'm going out. Going where? Well, something I forgot to do, but I'll be back. All right, and this time he's going with his pickup truck. I'm guessing he's going to do something most likely with the leftover narcotics. Or maybe he's bringing the guy water. Oh, he is bringing the guy water. Oh, you know, something I forgot to do. This is a bold man, guys. The, the, uh, the Texas heart, almost. Maybe. Spirit. The spirit of Texas runs in his veins. Someone came back to finish the job. Oh, bro. Oh. We already know your aim is not amazing. See, they came prepared. Off-road lighting. And their aim is also terrible. Ken, move. A little waterfall? Alright, clear. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, buckshot, guys. You shooting from that distance? 69, see? And the gas. Well, this is necessary of yours. Where I'm from. Oh, you're not from the Fred south, go. bro. Hey, listen, listen, this is not how we conduct things uh, in the South. Right? He's just being cordial. He recognized where you were from, and he's just having small talk conversation. That's, for the most part, what is done in the South, pretty much all around, right? I didn't mean that. You are rude. I didn't mean nothing. Bro, pack it up. Get out of, get out of the store. Is there something wrong with anything? Will there be anything else? You already asked me that. Yeah, he's telling you to leave, but nicely. Oh. You don't know what you're talking about, do you? Sir? You don't know what you're talking about. I don't like this guy. What time do you go to bed? Sir? Well, I got to close now. You live in that house all back. Yes, I do. You lived here all your life? What's the most you ever lost on a coin toss? Bro. I don't know. I couldn't say. I can't call it for you. Tails. It wouldn't be fair. Well, look, I need to know what I stand to win. Everything. He's about to take your life, bro. You stand to win everything. Call it. Just say tails. Because I think heads is too obvious. Everyone says heads. Just say tails. Heads, then. What will get mixed in with the others and become just a coin. What? Which it is. Llewellyn? <laughs> Yo, Des. That's easy, easily the weirdest Dessa? conversation we've ever had with yeah. anyone, bro. Stay with your mom. All right? Easily. Well, how come? But for how long do we have to... Baby, at what point would you quit bothering to look for your $2 million? Never. Well, I can't take him back. Man, you lost your truck, too. Am I riding? <laughs> Bro, I haven't heard that in forever. Because I was a truck? teenager. Uh-huh. You getting anything on this? 
Not a bleep. All right. <laughs> Be careful. Always am. Don't get hurt. Never do. Don't hurt no one. Can't promise that. If you say so. Right. You ride Winston. You sure? Oh, I'm more than sure. Anything happens to Loretta's horse out here, I can tell you right now, I don't want to be the party that was aboard. Mm -hmm. Tread coming back is going, made about the same time, too. You can see the sights real clear. Somebody's probably the inspection plate off the door on this one. I know this truck. Belongs to a fella named Moss. Llewellyn Moss? That's the boy. You figure him for a dope runner? No, I don't know. <laughs> I kind of doubt it. Okay, corrals just yonder. That was probably mandatory, unfortunately. Well, this appears to have been a glitch or two. Like a double cross. How come you reckon the coyote ain't been at him? I don't know. Supposedly a coyote won't eat a Mexican. These boys appear to be men. What, what happened? What <laughs> happened? I think we're looking at more than one fracas. Is that the rule? Execution guys? here. If it ain't, it'll do till the mess gets here. Now you got a name. I'm looking for Llewellyn Moss. Did you go up to his trailer? Yes, I did. Where does it work? Sir, I ain't at liberty to give out no information about our residence. I've never heard a name like that Where in my life, work? guys, by the way. Did Lula? you not hear me? Bro, the 70s? Oh, or like the late 70s? Car from Roberto. Look extremely tacky, guys. I got a bad feeling, Llewellyn. Well, I got a good one, so that ought to even out. Like, like guys, is that a common name? You gotta quit your worrying so much. What about yours? I'm hiding behind you. <laughs> Good eye. Oh, Sheriff! We just missed him! Nah. He we gotta knows circulate it. this on radio. He's got any notion of the sorts of sons of bitches that are hunting him? I don't know. They all Not at all. I don't think so. I think all he knows He's is that the they will I've do seen, and it certainly anything. Made an impression on me. I don't think he knows the the specifics. He has two million dollars in like nineteen eighty. I mean, it's still visible, bro. Del Rio's Regal Motel. Loaded. Now, why would I expect him? Who is this? Don't stop. Just ride me past those rooms. I think that was just random, guys. All right, this guy is really good at finding people, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> With all due respect, that don't make a lot of sense. Not really. No, sir. He said entry wound in the forehead, mm -hmm. no exit wound. Yes, sir. Ten poles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, so guys, quick, really quick question. Is um, is Texas a constitutional carry state? Why do you have the tent? Mm -hmm. Something like that. Well, what kind of tent? Kind of right. What you're doing is is white. Right. It's got two double beds. Mm -hmm. He wants to most likely access the the ventilation. I mean, I get it, bro. You're paranoid. You're super paranoid. So there's some type of like radio transmitter, most likely. 
attached to the bag. Sir, is there a reason you're still carrying around the same bag, bro? Oh, no. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Like, for a really terrible person, his luck is phenomenal. And I'm just gonna call this luck. Purely. Let's go. Like, I honestly hope that he makes it out of this alive, because... But with this psycho chasing him... And 137 was free, if we recall. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, pretty sure if he starts moving that around in the vents, this guy is gonna hear it. Like, terrible person, but definitely interesting to watch. Be terrible. Okay. Also smart, I'm not wearing your shoes. Did he get away? Please tell me he got away. I feel like he's a good guy. Right? Honestly, I think he's a he's a good guy, just caught in some craziness, guys. Yeah, he's a psychopathic killer, but so what? I'm just playing them around. Is that the two guy who we're following? Two Rio Motel yesterday and two others okay. in that colossal goat out in the desert. I was wondering... Yes. Could you validate my parking ticket? <laughs> Attempted humor, I suppose. No, I'm sorry. But do you? Counted the floors to this building from the street. And? There's one missing. Generally, there's always one number missing. We'll look into it. There's always like one less floor number. Or something like that. Like they purposely, like, was it, was it floor 13, I think? I don't know. Something like that. One room. Like, bro, to be honest, I think you should probably get as far away as humanly possible. I mean, I'm sure planes planes existed. Get on a plane. Leave. Get on a train. Because he's going to keep looking for you in Texas and surrounding towns. Just I know. Right, get rid of the box, bro. There you go. Listen, sir, your paranoia is definitely healthy. All right. It's him. Oh, no. Bro, the suspense is wild. Yeah. Yeah. Break. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah, he's he's gone. <clears throat> yeah, he's gone, bro. Oh, gosh, guys. guys, edge of the seat right now, guys. And what's, what's interesting is that the lack of an overall soundtrack or scoring is like intensifying every like feeling. 
need you to drive me on out of here. Oh, oh. oh. bro, right. Oh, come on, bro. <laughs> this is the toying with me. You're toying with me. Get out and move. You're injured. Bro, this is a nail biter. Oh no. Bro, he's about to one shot you. Or not. Oh, you hit him. Thank you. Yeah, but I wouldn't just go off chasing him now though, bro. Just get get the money and move. He can't follow you now. Just walked in with Large quantities of money and bleeding. Mind your business. Were you in a car accident? Yeah. I need 500 bucks for that coat. Right. Right. All right. Guys, I can tell you right now, this is easily one of the most gripping, like, don't remove your eyes movies. <laughs> uh, though we've encountered for a while here. All right, so it's his leg. It's like acidic enough to, uh... Wait. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this cycles and then there's whatever this guy is. I'm thinking he's going to use the, the gasoline to, you know, potentially clean his wounds, maybe. <laughs> but uh, no. No. Okay, this is for the pain, lidocaine. Okay. And he's gonna do the surgery for himself? Okay. Because how are you gonna heal if all the skin is dead? And flesh and the, the meat and... Never mind. Any word on those vehicles yet? Is he about to take yeah, like, like out donor was skin from one leg and add it to the those other? Those vehicles or... are titled and registered. Couldn't y'all take a van out there? We didn't have no van four wheel drive. You, you gonna wrap me up for improperly secured load on me? You get <laughs> right, idiot. I've seen him. How did you him? find him? Man, you're not dead. You don't understand. Okay. What do you do? Yeah, technology is retired. What did you do? Welder. Even if you gave him the money back, he'd still kill you just for inconvenience in him he's a peculiar man okay so who does he work say for he has principles principles that no i ain't nothing not word one would you tell me if you had well probably not i don't know you know she you don't need any trouble from you it ain't me he's in trouble with he can take all comers <sighs> i mean as of right now he has uh, you know charlie walls got that place out east of sanderson just tell him i can make him safe I don't think you can make him safe, bro. I'm just gonna be honest. I think it's above the. Uh, of course, they slaughter steel. The is a lot different these days. Why are you telling me that, Sheriff? Because he just figured out that's exactly what that guy is using. Guys, everyone just just knows if that makes any sense, guys. Everyone. That's it. They just know where everything is. Satchel is. If you knew you would have it with you. If you can't reach it. From the riverbank, I know where it is. I know something better. Okay. What's that? I know what it's going to be. Do you have any idea how crazy you are? I don't think he does. You mean the nature of this conversation? I mean the nature of you. Right, just everything. The whole being. The aura of, of you. It's nuts, bro. <laughs> Bro.
Bro. You know? Hey, listen. So what are you going up there for? You know how this is going to turn out, don't you? I nope. honestly hope he gets deleted, but this is super Not interesting following, him. though. So this is what I'll offer. Him. I want him to be deleted. You bring me the money and I'll let her go. Was well, making There's a question. Whether they stop being. And when. Okay, okay. Guys, he yes, speaks sir. in riddles and like a really good Now, Wendell, did you inquire about the lock cylinder? But that's what it took, you notice. Get somebody's attention. Digging graves in the backyard didn't bring any. <laughs> I mean, this is really good social commentary, though. Seriously. Oh, He's not wrong. It's all right. I laugh We ignore. Sometimes. We ignore everything until you something is in your face. You directly affecting you. Get someone to help this man. He needs to get into town. I expected that. <laughs> You're hurt, ain't you? Oh, yeah. What makes you say that? The pain to voice you have? Right. Look, I want you to meet me at the... She's gonna be next, by the sounds of it, guys. Unfortunately. That depends. On? Do you see me? I always seen this is what it could oh, be. Do you say Three no? Years ago, I, you know how many people I know in El Paso, Texas? Oh, That's how many. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> um, uh, true story. Oh. I couldn't swear to ever detail, but it's certainly true that it is a story. What are you talking about? He's going to delete you. <laughs> oh, God, guys. <laughs> bear leads to more bear. Not in this case. And missing wallet, probably too, bro. No offense. You know. but most likely a missing wallet. This is the end of him? Like, with all of you guys, with all the craziness they've shown us so far, I would expect them to, at the very least, show us what happened, right? But, um, all right. I'd see children walking the streets of our Texas towns with green hair, bones <laughs> in their noses. Right. I just flat out wouldn't have believed you. Oh, yes, I honestly, seriously, would love to hear these two guys have the same exact conversation about 2023. I think they would lose their mind, guys. I would, I would, I would pay to hear this conversation, guys. Dad. I'm guessing the rest of this is about to be about him solving whatever's going on. But also, he kind of just left a clue, right? He walked in one day, then walked back in the next day. So based off of him hearing that, most likely he can speculate now that he's going to come back to the scene of the crime. Maybe. Is this man sleeping in the bed? That's crazy. <laughs> The other room, guys. He most likely stayed next door, like he did last time, guys. I will say this sheriff is a really good profiler, though. Okay. Locked from the inside. Okay, so now we're putting together a couple of things. All right, so what he did was he, he slept in the room to the side and they once again hid the money in the vents this guy was on the other side of the vent uh so the other guy was on the other side of the vent and he used the coin again he last time he used a dime at the same time he used the dime again i deduced it when you walked in <laughs> how many of them things you got now cats oh i don't know several you want a cup appreciate it bro don't drink nothing from that kitchen Feel overmatched. Hmm. I always figured when I got older, God would sort of come into my life somehow. What you got ain't nothing new. 
This country's hard on people. Absolutely. You can't stop what's coming. That's vanity. There's something special about the advice that you get from like elderly men that I just cannot explain like the, the, the actual value you get like as a man, right? That you get from listening to like older men speak. It's just like, it's refreshing, right? Um, like there's a video that that's floating around on YouTube. I think it's called old man advice. If you have not seen that, it is, it's a mandatory watch specifically if you are a guy, right? You, you'll get it. It hits you. It's just like, Oh, wow. I obviously need to do better. I need to stop doing all the, the absolute nonsense that I do in my life regularly and just do better, right? I don't know. I just I'd love hearing it, guys. Right? Like, be glad if you have your grand your grandfather around or something, guys. Seriously. Um, I lost mine when I was uh, six, so I didn't really have any um, real meaningful experience. Sadly. What little I had is long gone, and there's bills are plenty to pay it. Oh, God, I buried my mother today. Ain't pay for that neither. You gave your word? Okay. Your husband. What? That oh. don't make sense. You gave your word to my husband to kill me? This is the best I can do. Call it. Tells. I know you was crazy when I saw you sitting there. He's crazy. That's a fact. I know but... exactly what was in store for me. Well, I got here the same way that Colin did. Not really. Well, well, I guess technically, yeah. Oh. I'm normally good at, at timing jump scares, guys. That, yeah, I missed that one, guys. I missed it. Just didn't expect a jump scare from this movie at all. Mr. You got a bone sticking out of your arm. Ah, uh, he knows that, bro. He sees it. You got a bone sticking out your arm. You repeated yourself. What did you take for the shirt? You know, part of that's mine, right? You still got your damn shirt. And even what it was for. The second one, it was like we was both back in the older times. It was cold and there was snow on the ground. He rode past me and kept on going. Never said nothing going by, just rode on past. He had his blanket. And in the dream, I knew that he was going on ahead. He was fixing to make a fire somewhere out there and all that dark and all that cold. And then I woke up. Guys, I feel like I can blink now. All right. <laughs> let me, let me decompress for a second. <sighs> Firstly, whoa. All right. The overall filming of the movie was absolutely phenomenal throughout it. Um, I love the facts that they honestly stuck with pastels throughout and never really went to like highly contrasty type of scenes. It's aesthetically absolutely beautiful to look at. Now, the fact that they had no music, that in itself is interesting. I mean, it seems like they were going for like like a real life type of vibe and feel to the movie itself. Right? Um, think about it. Real life has no soundtrack, like at all. Now, all of the characters, guys, it seems like everyone for the most part is, is kind of dealing in certainty, uncertainty, overall risk taking. And honestly, there's just a certainty of, of death. You can pretty much guarantee that any, any risk that they were taking throughout the movie pretty much was gonna end certainly. In, in death, guys. What I mean by risk, at least, is um, like the coin flipping thing. Like, I mean, I get it, right? Um, <laughs> uh, but I think it just uh, like further on, like it, it further tells us that the the absolute main character of the movie, which was that Anton guy, was absolutely like psychotic in all of this, guys. 
beautifully acted. I'll tell you this, guys, right now, the movie was beautifully acted. <laughs> like, it's just, so, it's just so much, guys. There's so much to unpack. But I will say, though, even though there was no, like, music, they, if you guys noticed, like, almost all the scenes, it was, like, super windy. And, like, some of the, the small, like, minute details of sound were brought to the, the front for us all to encounter. Um, wind itself seemed to be the main scoring, if anything, guys. I find that interesting. <laughs> well, what does No Country for Old Men mean? Hmm. And like so, so this is one of these movies that honestly don't do not really have a clear ending. I kind of wish that they would have showed what happened to who we thought was the main character initially. I would say, but I'm not surprised. Uh, for the most part, he met his demise basically as a regular, you know, faceless body. And it's crazy because I, I've never really seen a movie where they just deleted the character, the main character, and they just didn't care to kind of show it because they just wanted to make a like a for the most part a larger statement on on life and death. Let's say the certainty of death. That's kind of what I'm I'm kind of taking from this. It is literally the certainty of, of the, everyone is going to go. There's always a chance of something happening. And I think they played into the chance thing when at the end of the movie where the guy was driving the car and then out of nowhere he got like T-boned. That's that chance. You get know what I'm saying here? And obviously you can never not play the game. You get know what I'm saying here? Because the game of life is that coin, right? Either you're going to live another day or have your, your life taken from you, right? And if you choose not to play, then what's the value of the game, right? I think that's kind of what... Again, they wanted to show at the end of the movie when they didn't show him deleting the woman. But even though he absolutely did. Or we're, we're led to believe that he did. But if we're to attribute you know, the, the coin flipping to, for the most part, life, then... Yeah, she doesn't want to play the game of life. I understand. All these things are happening to you. Listen, you just buried your husband. You buried your mother. You do not have the money, obviously. And then you can't even pay your bills. That's life. But if you decide not to play the game of life, bye bye. Guys, this, this movie here is, is going to haunt me. <laughs> I, I feel like, honestly, this movie is going to haunt me a little bit. Guys, listen. If you guys want to see the full length reaction, it's on Patreon, second tier. <sighs> yeah, guys. Uh, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly. <laughs>